Animal Survival! I'm your host, Animalia. On today's episode, we'll take you on an amazing adventure around the world to different environments. Let's bring out our game show contestant, who will play the game with you, Finn! <laughs> hey, Animalia! I'm excited to play! How do we play? <laughs> to play the game, you'll name one animal that lives in each of the environments we visit, and then act out that animal. Roar! Roar! We'll need to work on your roar, Finn. <laughs> yep, I think you got it now. Oops, sorry. Meow. To win this game, you'll need to write down one physical characteristic in each environment that helps your animal live there. Let's do it! Wait. What's an environment? What's an environment, you say? Well, I'm glad you asked. An environment is the natural world surroundings in which an animal or plant lives. A cactus plant's environment is the desert. A monkey's environment is the rainforest. <laughs> and a polar bear's environment is the Arctic tundra. Ooh. Oh, I see. And what are physical characteristics in the environment? Another good question, Finn. The physical characteristics of an environment are non-living natural features like landforms, climate, soil, and living features like vegetation and other animals. A non-living physical characteristic of the desert environment is lots of sun, which a cactus needs to grow. A living physical characteristic of the rainforest environment is lots of trees, which a monkey needs for shelter. And a non-living physical characteristic of the Arctic tundra is lots of ice, which a polar bear needs for blending in with its surroundings while hunting seals. Oh, I think I get it. Let's find out. What environment is this found in North America? Hmm, looks like a grassland prairie. Right you are, Finn. Now, what animal would you find in a grassland prairie? How about... A rabbit. Very good. So, if you're a rabbit, bouncing around and living your best life in the grassland prairie, what physical characteristic of the environment helps you live there? The grass, of course. It's my favorite thing to eat. I'm not getting. Ugh, that one tastes funny. Excellent choice, Finn. And great job bouncing around. OK, we're ready to play. Now remember, after you act out an animal in each environment we visit, write down your animal on your game card. When we pause the video, you'll write down one living, or non-living, physical characteristic in the environment that helps your animal live there. Now, let's get ready for... Animal Survival! Roar! Oops, sorry, forgot. Hop on board. We're, We're going, going up. Our first environment is the forest of North America.
could live here. How will the physical characteristics of this forest environment help your animals survive? From wherever you are right now, ask out one animal that you think lives in this beautiful forest. You have 30 seconds to do your best acting. And begin! This forest is awesome! Make sure to write down your forest animal on your game card because we're moving locations. Toot, toot. All aboard for the next adventure! to the grassland environments of Africa, which is also called the savanna. What's one animal that you think could live in this tall grassland environment that's somewhere between a desert and a forest? Lots of open space. It's hot and the leaves are high up in the trees. How will the physical characteristics of this environment help your animal survive? 30 seconds of acting out your grassland animal and Begin! Grassland is amazing! Definitely not as many trees as a forest. Lots of space and sun. Come on, Finn, we gotta go! For our last adventure, we need to go down instead of up. This submarine will take us deep into the ocean. do you think could live down here in the ocean? Look at all those rocks and coral reefs. 30 seconds of acting out your ocean animal. Let's go! Okay, I think I'm ready to go back to my normal environment now. Wow, what a wild journey we just went on. Can we do it again? Oh, oh. We gotta finish the game, Finn. In order to win this game, you'll need to write down one physical characteristic in each of the environments we visited. And then, write how that physical characteristic helps your animal live there. When we come back, we'll reveal our answers and see what Finn came up with too. Woohoo! Thing. Pull that cord! 
Did you think of an animal for each environment and name a physical characteristic? If you did, then guess what? You're an animal survival winner! But don't worry if you don't quite have it yet. You can take the adventure again until you win! Yay! <laughs> Wait. But what animals do they act out? I can't see. Hello? Why don't you show them what animals you acted out, Finn? Oh, well for me, in the forest, I was a deer. And one physical characteristic is a lot of leaves for me to eat because I get really hungry. Nom, nom, nom. Nom, 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 nom. Nom, 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 nom. I don't think I would do well in a desert environment as a deer without any leaves to eat. Very good, Finn. Now, what about the grassland environment, or the savanna in Africa? I was a giraffe! A physical characteristic is a lot of open space, so I can move around easily, because I'm so tall. Excellent, Finn. Now, what about the last environment, the ocean? Oh, I was an octopus. Look at all my arms! A physical characteristic of the underwater ocean environment is a lot of rocks for me to hide under to protect myself from sharks who want to eat me! What animal did you think of and what physical characteristics could you come up with? I hope you enjoyed playing everyone's favorite Take the Stage game show, Animal Survival! Roar! Here's an extra challenge for you wild animals. The next time you're outside, look around for the physical characteristics in the environment that support the plants and animals you see. Finn, are you still an octopus? You know we're on dry land now. Thanks for reminding me that I needed an environment with better physical characteristics.